about a year ago, I did a video called You're Wrong About SCP-173. And then more recently, maybe six months ago, I don't remember when exactly, I did You're Still Wrong About SCP-173, where I addressed a couple of uh, misconceptions that were being repeated in the comments of the first video. I was looking at my analytics lately, and I was noticing that You're Wrong About SCP-173 is getting almost as many views as my primary uploads every day. So... I thought I would revisit You're Still Still Wrong About SCP-173. I'm going to have to come up with a better name than that. There's nothing wrong with continuing to deliver the kind of content to the audience that they want to see more of. Uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm definitely going to go through comments for both videos and respond to anything that I find particularly in anything that I think will have a particularly interesting response. Let's put it that way. So let's start with the very first one. Uh, uh, actually, we're going to go cover a couple of comments at the same time. Let's see if we can find the other one. Um, didn't SCP-173 get redesigned after it in canon was put inside SCP-914? And I thought I should mention this. There's this guy on YouTube that's called SCP Illustrated, and he actually remade SCP-173. I thought that it looked pretty good. What I know for sure is that SCP Illustrated has indeed uh, done a couple of different versions of SCP-173, and there are a couple of other versions of SCP-173 floating around the internet at this point. I believe the uh, Unity ver or Unity version of uh, Containment Breach includes a redesigned 173, specifically so that it, I mean. I'm not saying that they want to use it as in a commercial way, but they could if they wanted to, as long as it's redesigned properly. The important thing to recall is that it's just the <laughs> the original images of the statue are uh, not under the site's basic license uh, because the you know it was it, they they plagiarized it. That's the problem. Uh, you can't plagiarize, you know, an image like that and then be like, oh, yeah, it's ours now forever. Or I'm sorry, it's the people's now. Uh, that's uh, not how private property works. So that's probably why it was changed in the Unity version. Yeah, pretty much. Just to clarify, oh, this is an interesting one, because this is actually the full, uh, you know, like canonical version of the Weeping Angels, which predate uh, SCP-173 by about a week and a half to two weeks, roughly. Just to clarify, the story goes that Stephen Moffat, yes, I'm aware he wasn't the showrunner yet, but he wrote Blink, which is the one that features the uh, Weeping Angels, which premiered, as I said, a couple weeks before 173. Uh, 173's first iteration was posted to the internet. Uh, got the idea when he was walking through a graveyard and saw a statue with chains. Then he walked back to that location in the graveyard later on, and it was gone. Found this interesting, and later used the idea of a statue that moves while you're not looking at it. I'm not saying he came up with the idea. He'd likely seen it somewhere in folklore before, hence why this possibility stuck out to him. But the idea that Stephen Moffat knows what SPC is now is a little bit on the unlikely side. That is probably... Well, I don't know. You'd be surprised. The SCP Foundation uh, has... I mean, it's not like super well-known or even mainstream, but it is seeping into Hollywood a little bit. Uh, every once in a while, you'll, uh, I've, I've watched a, I couldn't off the top of my head link you anything, but there's a, uh, a variety of, um, videos I've watched where I've seen either hints that somebody is talking about the SCP Foundation or just outright mentions it. Uh, so it's not, it's not completely unknown, but it is still kind of, you know. I get the inclination that it, it's probably decided it's probably decidedly considered a uh, like an inferior form or an inferior forum for writing, but still, it's known. It would have absolutely impossible at the time of consideration. We have to remember that Blink aired in two thousand and seven. Yes, we know. You know what's interesting is, is that this person is telling this story here, uh, most of which the broad strokes of it at least were in the video, as though he's cl what is he clarifying? I don't. Mm. Things not moving while you are looking at them have existed for so long because it's a smart thing to do in nature. It's very easy for animals and most life to see moving objects. So you move when you think whatever it is isn't looking at you. Just take any mountain lion in real life. It'll be watching you and you turn your back, then look back at it, and it'll be right behind you. Well, that's because it's an ambush predator. Its instinct is if you turn your back to it to attack. But, you know, that's not here nor there. <laughs> not just mountain lions either. <laughs> it's uh, 
<laughs> most uh most big cats are ambush predators and they operate exactly this way not all but most it doesn't matter how well you know them that's the reason why uh lion tamers and stuff like that if it can eventually get mauled it doesn't matter how well you know them how friendly they are if you turn your back to them instincts tend to take over sometimes the instincts don't fully like i'm saying like it's 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 something they can fight and sometimes they do but eventually you're gonna get yourself mauled because that's just how their brains work Ooh, first person i ever see address the blatant image theft around the entirety of the scp community oh my god as an artist who is constantly afraid of theft i hate the scp but i also love it i still wish we'd educate people more about rights uh content creators have on their own creations it's really nice to see they respected the creator's request though that's a nice outcome well you know <laughs> They got real close to getting sued. Uh, they just got... Because there was no real way to contact them. Which is a, a lesson they learned, eventually. But uh, image uh, plagiarization on the SCP Wiki is still a problem. Because there's a lot of really big named articles that still have... Uh, <laughs> that still have uh, plagiarized images. And that's just how it is. The SCP Wiki is... SCP Wiki was founded on plagiarism. There's nothing we can do about that except to try to fix it now. Its grip is like concrete. Try and break concrete with your bare hands. Come on, I am waiting. Um, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, okay, it says the grip is unbreakable. It doesn't say unbreakable by human hands. That's the thing about like SCP articles. It's something that you learn as you as you go when you write them. And if anyone is new here, I have written like 117 articles on the SCP Wiki. Um, so when people are like, you just, I, I, there's also comments in here. I haven't seen any yet because I'm just looking at the most recent comments. But there definitely were comments in here that's like, you're just talking about, like, like, you're saying 173 is poorly written because you couldn't do something like that. I'm like, well, I don't have anything quite that popular, but, you know, I've got stuff up on the Wiki. What the hell are you talking about? But yeah. <laughs> It's a very common comment uh, that uh, it, if it doesn't say unbreakable by human hands, which is not something you would want to say in an article, you would probably say something along. You you just define the hardness of it. If it's non-anomalous concrete, like it just is as strong as concrete, tell me the thickness of it, then that's enough information. It's actually uh, rebar. It's reinforced concrete because there's rebar in it. So I don't know. Also, it's pretty clear if you look at the image that's made out of wood, but that's not, that's neither here nor there. I'm... Why do your titles have to be so obnoxiously presumptuous? Here's another thing. I get a lot of comments, and they're on this video. It's it's not necessarily related to 173, but these comments do exist. So, um, <laughs> st Along the lines of, uh, I'm not wrong about it, therefore this title is incorrect, but you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> No one considers the fact that there are other people in the world besides them. So they just like, I'm not wrong, and therefore your title makes no sense. Well, there's um, 7 billion other people in the world. And for the average video of mine, anywhere between uh, 5 to 50,000 views, it kind of depends. Like a video about SCP-173 is usually going to get higher view counts. I think my... You're still wrong about 173, get like 20,000, but the original one's like uh, 500,000? Let me just look real quick. Let me look, let me look at them, their analytics. Yep, 550, right now, 555,000, uh, which, uh, you know, it ain't bad. <laughs> Actually, you can't be wrong on SCP just because there is no creator behind them. It's a lot of them. You can be one as well, so you can't be wrong. Fuck you. Okay, all right, let's look at the comments on the other uh, video. The You're still wrong about SCP-173, and let's get a couple of those in there. <laughs> Why not just put some pistons in there to push it over? I think he can get up. <laughs> oh, Ash, <laughs> Ash Williams says, Let's get one thing straight out of the gate. The sculpture was not stolen. The image of the sculpture was. The artist himself is, however given the SCP community his permission to continue use of said picture as long as no one makes money off of it. Super cool of him to do, by the way. What What do you mean, let's get one? Th I say that in the video. No one says the... Oh, God. 
Oh, and talking about the guy who uh, was complaining that we <laughs> that uh, Izumi Kato should be thankful that we stole his image for the, and plagiarized it for the SCP Wiki. Man, that one guy said, sounds like, hey, I stole your fortune and left you homeless, invested it, and was able to feed an entire hungry family. You should be grateful. I... I feel like you may have lost your metaphor here. I'm not really sure even which uh, side of the argument you're on, but uh, you do you, man. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I was going to do a video on how Siren Head isn't, like, I know the Siren Head isn't an SCP meme. It's getting a little old, but I was going to do a little bit more detailed, in-depth analysis. Um, I had an outstanding email to the creator of the art, uh, Trevor Henderson, who uh, hasn't responded yet. And I thought I would give it another week before I gave up on it and just made the video anyway. So uh, that video is put on hold for another week. But you're going to see it next Thursday. Um, in the meantime, I was looking through the comments uh, on the uh, 50,000 update video. And it looks like there really weren't a lot of super popular suggestions for the video I'm going to do. So I'm probably just going to pick something I'd like to do on Tuesday. Um, unless I hear a lot of outcry from people elsewise. Uh, we'll see what we come up with. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please scroll down and hit the subscribe button. And then the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Lawful Evil, a little lass, and probably a wizard and definitely not a scientist who have all pledged at $40. And I got that from memory. I hope I got their names right. <laughs> it's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And neither are you. I'll see you all again on Tuesday.